Hello citizens, Councilor John Carlo Carra here, Ward 9 TV Light. Today we're going to turn our attention to the one of the worst intersections in the city of Calgary. I am of course talking about the intersection of McLeod Trail and 25th Avenue Southeast, right on the south side of the south uh, west side of the Stampede Grounds, right by the Earlton LRT station, right where Earlton and Cemetery Hill and the Stampede Grounds meet. That uh, is an extremely frustrating intersection uh, for everybody, but particularly for people who are trying to go east and west on 25th Avenue, because not only is McLeod Trail a very high order road that sucks up a lot of the, uh, the time, uh, but you have LRTs that pop out of the hill from time to time and screw up the timing. That makes it extremely unfriendly for cars trying to head east and west and extremely unfriendly for pedestrians trying to do the right thing and walk either to the train station or to events at the Stampede Grounds. So the plans on the books for years for that intersection was that it would become an old school interchange, grade separated, clover leafy kind of thing. And what that did is that uh, really made development propositions along the street uh, very difficult. In fact, 25th Avenue, where the higher density uh, Lindsay Park neighborhood meets the more traditional fabric of Earlton and crosses the street over, or crosses the Elbow River on the bridge over into, uh, into Mission, is a classic example of where you could have a main street. But unfortunately, the Lindsay Park projects were built turning their back on 25th Avenue because the expectation was there would be a giant ramp making its way down to the bridge. Uh, the big challenge, of course, with that area is that you've got the bridge on one side, you've got hills on two sides, you've got an LRT coming out of the ground. And as we looked at the problem over the last couple of years while I was in council, it became increasingly uh, clear to me and to members of administration that the interchange that was on the books uh, was basically unbuildable and uh, I wanted to find a different way. I also wanted to find a way that would really encourage real estate development around that corner. Already Anthem is proposing to put you know, a beautiful podium with a main street in between it and some powers rising up, some retail for the community there, taking advantage of the traffic that's going by on McLeod Trail, but really focusing on neighborhood life in Lindsay Park. They're also looking at sending a uh, pedestrian bridge right into the Earlton station. And so the conversation we were having is, you know, now that we're talking about TOD, now that we've got stampede owned land uh, to the east of the Earlton LRT station, we've got Anthem going in, we've got uh, the Repsol Center at Talis uh, the formerly Talisman uh, Center, looking at uh, upping their offerings and figuring out how to do that. Uh, the big question was, what are we going to do about this corner? Because it's, it's a disaster and 25th Street is not as good a street as it could be. And we're really suppressing the kind of evolution of the neighborhood that we need. And uh, in looking at it, we came across a very sort of cool idea. I mean, we, we engaged with Earlton and all of that. But the idea is that if we were, instead of raising the intersection over the LRT, raising the LRT over the intersection and what would happen is you would sort of head up and the station would go from an at-grade station to an elevated station then what you could do with 25th Street is keep it on the ground and turn it into this kind of situation and what that kind of situation does is it creates a lot of stacking it focuses our pedestrian crossing where we want it right into the station and uh, we tried that out and tested it with the public enough to understand that it was possible and it was a lot more cost effective and it created a lot more real estate opportunity around that area. So with that in mind, I was able to get council to take the old interchange off the books and approve in principle the new approach. What I'm excited to announce is that transportation is now getting ready to do a deeper dive into that plan. We don't have it funded, we're not sure exactly how it's going to work, but the idea, especially coming out of the Crow Child Trail conversations we've been having, uh, is that we have to deeply engage the community. So this is a heads up that there's a lot of work that's been done on this file, but there's a lot of work left to do. And we're going to uh, start um, 
talking to you guys. I'm just getting the high sign from my staff that I've been saying 25th Street, and in fact, I mean 25th Avenue. My apologies. McLeod Trail, 25th Avenue, uh, obviously. Uh, I don't want to redo this, so we're just going to go with it. <laughs> um, the thing I want everyone to be aware of is that this is, uh, this, is, this is something that's for the future, and as sort of a segue into the next Ward 9 TV light that I'm going to do, um, there is the chance that we could fund it if the city of Calgary were to, say, bid for like the 2026 Olympics and were to decide that the real estate around the Earlton Station, taking in a great view of the downtown, right on the transit line, right on the river path system, and right next to the amazing amenity of Repsol Place, might be a good place for an athlete's village or something. That might be the catalyst to get things going. Uh, but right now, we're just in preliminary outreach, so expect if you're a member of the Earlton community or if you're someone who uses and is impacted by that intersection on a daily basis, expect to be engaged and share your thoughts with us because I think we've got a much better future ahead of us. Looking forward to everything we learn from engaging with you and making this plan better and better. Councillor John Carla Carra, signing off.